I'm editing my December vlog right now and it just reminded me of all the chocolate that I got in my stocking and like how the heck am I supposed to go on a diet when I got all this good stuff to eat? Like Skittles is just like my weakness. I'm thinking it's Canada time. We're driving through Coquitlam right now and this is the new SkyTrain line that's being built that's gonna take you to Coquitlam Center. But I think it's pretty cool because pretty soon all this is gonna come together. Well, it says right there, open summer 2016 and we just hit 2014 so we'll be able to kind of track the progress. Although we don't come out here very often but that's pretty cool to see it being built. Now you see it. Now you don't. They took Christmas away. No. It's still over here though. <laughs> I'm at the salon where I normally go to get my hair cut and I'm here to see Hiroshi who I've been going to for years and I'm so ready for a new look. So here's the before and here is the after and funnily enough this is actually about a month after my original haircut. If you're wanting to see that video it's in the video called my new haircut and big haul or something like that I can post it on the on the bottom here but um, it was just a bit heavy on the bottoms like down here it was just really heavy and blunt and I couldn't really style it so about two days ago I went to back to my hairstylist and I told him I was having a hard time styling it so he put in more layers but like you can see I have a whole bunch of layers and I have definite more volume definitely more volume but I have no hair so I'm not a hundred percent sure how I feel about this yet I'm still kind of like in that emotional girl state about my hair I know it's ridiculous but you know what hair is everything so I I don't know and my ponytail is like super small I don't know when you layer your hair I know you lose a lot of thickness but I just don't think it should be this much but um, anyways it's over I can't magically grow my hair overnight or fix it like I can makeup so I guess any type of change is good so we'll walk through it and see how it is but um, I'll keep you updated on how it is I think once it grows in after like a month it'll be okay here's hoping it's Super Bowl Sunday and well it's like 45 minutes into the game but I thought this was vlog worthy I haven't been doing it much but we got some chicken wings we got a spinach and artichoke dip or something fancy it's actually made with like artichokes or something no sorry what is it hearts of palms oh sorry excuse me hearts of palms <laughs> and fries and then we had a whole bunch of stuff earlier like a um, guacamole and all that but and some root beer of course it's a beautiful day in Vancouver, super sunny out, so we decided to go and walk along the seawall, but look at my view, isn't it beautiful? The city I live in is absolutely gorgeous. And then, whoop, there's this, but yeah, I feel good when I walk. So that's what we decided to do. I forgot to vlog it because I'm probably the world's worst vlogger, but we just left um, Terra Breads and I had a vanilla latte. And in my opinion, I think they make the best vanilla lattes in Vancouver that I've tried yet. So if you're in Vancouver, Terra Breads. And now we're gonna continue our trek along the seawall and we're just at Science World. complete other side we walked all the way from well over here where we started pretty much and then up top is the Burrard Street Bridge all the way here so you basically got to walk all the way out there to get on it and then I'll show you the really beautiful view from up top because it's breathtaking I promise here's the start of the bridge and it's yeah it's probably like four o'clock so it's rush hour, but on the right hand side, look at that view. And here is pretty much, I would say like the middle of the bridge, because you're standing right on top of it. And that is English Bay, Stanley Park, way over there. And then now we're kind of starting at um, Kit. 
entrance over here. But breathtaking, I think so. And our day is done. Along. Yeah, Bentley confirmed we're right here. Yeah, it's probably taking it out for a cruise. Test driving. Yeah, he was test driving. Um, yeah, a long walk. Uh, we probably started at one, one, no, quarter to 12 and it's four o'clock now, so that's a long day, but my legs are tired, I feel good, and I'm actually not as cold as I thought it would be, which is nice, but now, time to relax. You are, you're funny, you're funny, you know that? Did you know you're funny? Yeah. 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 Like I sure am. You know who's funnier though? This guy right here. This guy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what are you doing? She Whoa. Didn't she didn't nap properly and Whoa. she was supposed to nap a weekend. No, she, oh. she's she been funny the last few days actually. Lucy. She liked being at Grand Ole Island. She was really good at In the kids' G. place? I. Surrounded by kids? Oh, oh I she liked all the kids. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Hi. Was the public market busy? Oh, hi, the Lucy. On the wall. <laughs> oh, she's drunk. Kids market. Hi, uh, Lucy. Kids market, like, Look how big you are. We were there at like what time? We're all the food. We're all the food open. Look how big yeah. you are. Oh yeah, it was super busy at the. At the got your toes. Market. Everywhere else, we walked around. Got your toes. The guy who owns the Chinese market. Yes. The Chinese restaurant, the one in the market. Woo. The, yeah, the fast food. When we walk by, oh, it looks Woo. so it's like, good. Uh, yeah, there's like a big pile of like sweet and sour. Whoa! It looks so fresh, like right out of the That's my toe. No, not in your mouth. Kissy face. I'm not gonna save you. You're gonna hurt your mouth. And I was like, oh, she would love. <gasps> Kissy face. Hi, Roscoe. <laughs> oh, I can't keep. I can't even be fast enough for this guy. talking about all day and he says this is his child <laughs> good morning everyone I just got to work and Peter one of the nicest guys ever brought all these baked goods as kind of like a well it's for everyone because the Olympics started today and this is his way of celebrating and they have like the like the TV or the big screen down and they're all watching it and it's like 9 30 in the morning I thought that was awesome and it's just such a great way to come into work and yeah Olympics is crazy because we had Vancouver Olympics how many years ago and yes we're still talking about them but that was a big deal in our city so for Sochi that's probably amazing and I wish I was there but because I'm not I think I'm gonna eat a cinnamon bun the projector screen it's so awesome Stefania, hi! How rad. Mm. <laughs> hi, Teresa. Look what's happening. It's starting to snow. We're sending out waves and I was like, we're expecting a big snowfall. I don't know if you can see it, but all of a sudden I look outside and sure enough, it's snowing. Let me see, if you look at the light, let's see. Uh, I don't know. There it is. <laughs> we might wake up to a huge snowfall tomorrow. And then if we do, let's go play in it. 
just finished download or not downloading I just finished editing my new video my Shakira video makeup and I'm using the new iMovie and this shit is taking forever this is my time clock up here and that has been in the same spot for probably 15 minutes and I'm not used to this iMovie yet so I don't know how this video is gonna be but, oh I'm leaving work and Peter's getting the screen ready for tomorrow morning we're watching hockey tomorrow morning and this is his way of getting ready so I guess at 8 o'clock in the morning he doesn't have to do it then. We're getting pretty pumped because Canada's in it and we're ready to win. Look at how gorgeous this arrangement is full of all fresh fruit, chocolate covered strawberries, pineapple dipped in chocolate, grapes, and then on the bottom there's kale but it's in this cute little basket. Mm, looks delicious. That's good. We're at a baker's market and there's little vendors with a lot of cupcakes, cakes, um, jams and stuff, but it's super cute. And the stuff that we picked up so far is let's see, the lemon square, which was absolutely delicious and I couldn't resist not having that. And something called Miss Chip, which is like handcrafted chips but made out of like yams and what was the other Tarot one? Root. Tarot root. And it's, they were really delicious. Five dollars a bag, pretty, pretty good. And the lemon square was three dollars. But I'll show you guys a little glimpse of what else they got. Little pastries like this, cookies, <laughs> fresh bread. These I loved because it's you get this little box of cookies for only ten dollars, but they're really super cute. This one is like perfect for like Valentine's Day, and then it seems to be this is the trend. It's like really cute printed cookies. Mario. We're at Jeff Rose again, and this is actually a new location on Fraser Street, but I wanted to show you my humongous omelet. This is the baked potato omelet. I had this last time, but you've got to check out this breakfast burrito. Look at how humongor that is, like, thickness-wise. Sitting here snacking, and I just opened a fresh new bag of Doritos. It's Saturday night, but it feels like it's... Well, it's not really, I can't really enjoy my Saturday night tonight because I have to work tomorrow and normally I will have a Sunday off, but this is making up for it. I wanted to show you how delicious, not even delicious because I haven't even opened it yet, but how cool is this? This is a freaking Reese peanut, like a heart peanut butter cup and like look at how thick this is. So, oh well, I gotta open it now. Ah, I just wanted, I have never, I've never actually had one that looked like this, so I wanna see if it's actually like a, like is it fully peanut butter inside? Oh, how cute, it's a heart. I don't even know how to bite this and feel like a woman about it. Oh my god, it literally is. It does taste pretty much the same. There's that much chocolate to that much peanut butter. And this is amazing. I wonder how many actual peanut butter cups one of these is. I was just about to shower and I've actually had this stuff that I watched in a YouTube video, the Candy Johnson YouTube video on how to get really white teeth at home using like drugstore stuff. And it, so what it is is basically you go out and you buy mouth guards and these were like cheapy mouth guards and you have to put them in boiling water and fit them to your teeth. And so then when you get in the shower, you can put this inside, like on the mouth guard, and then um, leave it on for like five, ten minutes, or I don't know, I've got to check that, maybe five minutes while you shower, and then she said it's easiest to do it while you're in the shower, and I have to go shower because i got to go to work. So I'm thinking I might do this today, and then maybe show you a before and after. 
if I can do it like if I can with like good lighting and that's kind of TMI because it's my teeth and it's whitening but I've been waiting to try this so and literally it's just this drugstore plus white five minute premium speed whitening gel so I think I'm gonna give it a go but I have to go do this whole first um, um, putting it in boiling water and fitting it to my mouth size. So I'm going to start that and then see how it goes. Solution of one to two. Okay, so it's starting to get flimsy. Maybe I can use this water. now. Swirl it around put that on my teeth. Let's see. Ah, it's super sticky, so that means it, oh, it's going to mold right to my teeth, so I better put that on quick. Teeth, and then you put whitening stuff in here. What did you put in there? A mouth guard. What's that for? I told you. You put gel in here now, and then you put it on your teeth, and it's supposed to whiten it. But. Oh. Ladies, ladies. I don't think that works. That's you watching? That, yeah. Go on, Biggest you. fail of my life because. Number one, it didn't mold. Number two, everybody in my house wanted to talk to me and all at the same time and I couldn't concentrate. So I don't know if it was really me that made the mistake or it was the mouth guard. And my dad was trying to learn how to use a computer and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm frustrated and I'm going to go take a shower now. And that was the biggest teeth whitening fail ever. <laughs> about downtown life if you're coming in from other places all over the city there's snow and you get down here and there's nothing like look at this so it's pretty much just like rain almost coming down right now but everybody's braving well I'm braving the snow to come in for an event I'm out of breath but it's for the IATSE members of Vancouver and in other words it's like the Vancouver TV and film people but um, yeah I'll try and film like little bits here and there but yeah let's see how it goes here's something that I would say to my students this is a big mistake that I just done is I have like a little bit of water and Awesome. <laughs> 